Hello everyone and thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back to another video. So using these materials, some fabric, a measuring tape, scissors, and a paper clip. Not really the paper clip, you'll see later. But you'll use these to make a no-sew pillowcase. And you'll start out with um, 20 inch by 20 inch fabric. You'll need two pieces. I'm cutting my fabric down as you see here. I'm just using my measuring tape to make the 20 inch lines and I'm not being precise at all. I can see that way better now than I'm um, editing this, but um, in each corner you want to cut out a 2 inch by 2 inch block um, from all four corners. And as you see here, I'm just measuring out those 2 inches and then cutting that space out. And I'm doing the same thing to the other side. And then to make it easier, I'm just folding that over and I'm going to cut out the shape of the other uh, two squares. And again, precision is not important, not too important. Um, so the next thing is once you have your, um, your lines, you'll just take your measuring tape and just stretch it across. And then you'll want to cut one inch spaces on that material that's hanging there. And as you see, I'm just cutting a little bit there so that I don't have to um, accidentally cut the measuring tape so I'm just cutting a little just to show where the one inch is and then I'm showing here how I went back and cut up higher so I did this um, all the way to the line where that um, two inch line is and then I'm just showing how I'm going to repeat the same steps on all three sides so once that's all done then you want to make a hole on each of the flaps and you want to cut that hole straight through both pieces so I'm demonstrating that here with this one side and then here it is I've done the same thing for all four sides and now taking the paper clip I tried to use it because I thought it would be easier so you just take the paper clip and go through that first flap the holes in the first two flaps and then you want to pull the second two flaps through the hole but I was having a hard time doing that so it was much easier to do it by hand so as you see here I'm just pulling that straight through every time you pull this through you want to pull through both two pieces from the side on the left straight through the two sides that you're holding in your right hand so i'm demonstrating that again here and it is actually a very simple process i made the little slits wide enough for the material to go straight through so there was no problems i think that if i had made the snips a little bit shorter the paper clip maybe would have been necessary but i had no problem pulling this through Here it is one more time. Those two flaps going straight through the other two flaps. And then it turns into this pattern here where it kind of looks like a braid. So I'm just going to speed this up because I'm going to do this same thing for all three sides. And I'm just tucking the little pieces in so that it looks nice and smooth and it has no frayed edges. And here we go, we're going straight around. So for each corner, just keep going the same steps. And here we are, I'm finishing up this last, this third side here. And there it is all done. As you can see, some of the flaps need to be tucked in, but I'm not worrying about that right now. I'm just gonna take out my pillow. This is an 18 by 18 inch pillow. just packing that pillow in and then I'm doing the exact same thing to seal up that end there um, here we are left with the two ends so I'm just wrapping that one little piece around the back and pulling it straight through and then I'm gonna make a knot there and I'm gonna take this one side and tuck it on the right
and take that other side and tuck that down into the left and it kind of just blends in. And so this is what all the sides look like once all the material is kind of tucked in. And it's a very, very easy thing to do. And then you're all set. The pillow is done. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.